Hi guys, we're going to be doing a quick updo on a mannequin head today. As you can see, I prepped my mannequin head by curling her hair with a one inch Marcel. Um, it gave it these really soft curls. And then I sectioned the hair um, and I back combed it. Um, this will not only give it height and shape, but it will also give my hairpins and bob pins somewhere to anchor themselves. Now here you can see that I sprayed the hair with some hairspray and I just smoothed it over kind of by petting the hair. And then I'm gonna twist my hair and then I'm gonna anchor that little twist with a bob pin. And when I anchored it, I pushed my pin in and then I slid it up the hair towards so my pin went down into the hair and then it went up towards her face and I did this repeatedly around her hair her hairline now these bottom pieces this this one side I did the same thing as I did up top but instead of rolling down I did roll up and in goes the bob pin. Now on this other side, I did want it to look a little different. Instead of kind of that rolled effect, I did want it to look more like a twist, um, like the, bra the twist braid. So you'll see, you'll notice that I did do it a little different as I'm twisting and then pulling more hair up. I wanted it to be a little bit different texture. And here I'm just checking the shape and the texture, how it's laying um, naturally. And here I'm just pulling a little bit of those pieces out. Not, not completely out, but loose. And then I'm going to take this top half and I'm gonna pin it out of the way. So that way I can work with this bottom half and give it a little bit more volume, a little bit more shape, and make it look like she has a little bit more hair than she does. Spray it to lock it in, and then we let that hair down, cover up the back combing. And then with this technique, what I did was I just took my bob pin and I pinned the bottom half of the hair and leaving about probably a half an inch to an inch of the ends out. And then I just wrapped my hair around the bob pin before securing it into our anchor, which is our back combing that we did earlier. And I repeated that technique on the other side as well. Now I did leave some of these ends out um, just to give it a little bit more texture. And then whatever ones that I wanted to reposition and pin up, then I just did that as well. Now this end result looked more like a prom updo. Um, I did at the end pull down a few sections in the front just to frame her face. Now here I'll show you 
Up on top you'll see this large loose curl. I didn't like how it was laying, it looked undone and unfinished, so I just took a quick hairpin and I placed it where I wanted it to lay. This is my end product. It did look a lot like a prom updo. And here I'll show you. I just took that bottom half off and we're gonna do um, a nice elegant date night look instead. Now here you can see I started my fishtail braid. With that texture from us curling, it's going to look a lot different. Now after I braided the fishtail, all I did was took um, little pieces and loosen them up so it, there was a little bit of a PC look to them. And then at the bottom where the rubber band was, I just twisted my hair and pulled it through the back of the rubber band. So that way it hid our rubber band. I really liked how this one turned out. I thought it was really pretty. Thank you for joining us and I look forward to seeing you next time.